Disengaging primary cryofeed. Frank, get the light, would you? Huh? Oh boy. Clank! Where are we? I do not know. Have you located Quark? A little help here? Someone? I think my thing is broken. Oh, perfect. Can this get any worse? Oh, Lance. Kiss me. Love me. I'll be like you used to before you became a flesh-eating zombie. Quark, would you? Hmm? Can you get us out of here? Aye, aye, Lombax. Hello, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank All for One with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, um, here we are in the, um, in the space station. Helping a little girl, it seems, and we have been chased by something. Yes, well, let's see. Okay, do, we, do we attack this? I don't know. But, yeah. I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Size Matters here, because in that game, what we had to do is, um... Well, move. Why am I standing still here, game? When that drone reached for the Seriously, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, back to what I was saying. This game is reminding me heavily, and I do mean heavily, of... Um, uh, um, now, size matters in terms of story. Because in that game, we had to help Luna for the first few missions before it turned out she was a technomite. Anyway, we get a checkpoint here. Again, that was a thing previously. I don't know what the hell I was doing there, but there we go. Also, yes, uh, Quark and Nefarious are also now playable. For better or worse. Given that I like, like both Quark and Nefarious plus those, uh, Ratchet and Clank 3, that is a thing. So, yeah. And Nefarious is also my favorite villain from, from the um, uh, Ratchet and Clank games. Again, um, what the hell? What happened there? I meant to swing. Okay, swing it. Um, and of course, Quark. Um, I do like Quark more as an imbecilic um, hero than as a, dare I say, as an evil villain because, I mean, Quark has always been an imbecile, to be fair, but, um, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, we are being aided by little Susie here. So, yeah. And she will help us. Apparently she's a scout. Oh, uh, something like that. I just... Thankfully she isn't as a, incompetent as another space-based thing. Namely the Galactic Rangers from... Um, Rattis and Clank 3. So at least that's something. Again, we are still having the same gameplay as before. Although, I will admit, this is less annoying than the first one. And she is actually using some sort of gadget. Named what looks like the Suck Cannon from uh, both Ratchet and Clank 1 and Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal. So, yeah. Um, but, that being said. Now we have to get over here, and it's more, um, um, swing shotty, is it? Ah, uh, so be it. So, square button, please. Yes, and apparently... I miss! Okay, um, Clank, can you pick up the slack? Oh, never mind, I regenerated. Yeah, I'm convinced this... In fact, I, I got it wrong. This isn't trying to be Call of Duty at all. This game is trying to be like Skylanders, minus the um, functionality, obviously. Yes, if you recall, Skylanders is a series 
that came out after, um, dare I say, after um, Insomniac, not Insomniac, um, after Activision decided to um, make Spyro after they finished the rather god awful, in my opinion, uh, Legend of Spyro series and tried to make it into some sort of toys to uh, a game. It was one of the first really big toys to uh, game before uh, they actually re redid a remake of um, both Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, which I honestly like a lot better than Skylanders. But yeah, that's what it, this game reminds me of. And it's written in macaroni. Dear Lombax, these vac use will come in handy. Love, Susie. Let me go, you half oh, I'm trying. Maybe if I just... Miserable, stupid, incompetent. Please, we must all stay calm. We are going to have to work together until we find out where we are and how to get home. Blank's right. For the sake of our own survival and for drama, we must set aside our petty squabbles and act as a singular unit. For now. Well, here you have it. I, I can't believe I'm agreeing with Quark, but yes, we do have to act as a singular unit. Was the name all for one. So now, um, you get behind me, Clank, and we will warp then. Indeed, to this sector. Okay, this game is getting a bit more interesting. After the first level, which was mostly fighting off a freaking Zagroot, what do we have here? We have um, some sort of robot. Is what looks like a sub cannon. Yeah, seriously. And running his own into Okay, fine. Fine, that is the thing. Okay, and in this case the um the thing is called the vacuum and not the um thing. Okay, fine. I still prefer it as the sub cannon, seriously. Vacuum. Yeah. And also the sub cannon was all more far more awesome. I know. I know. I'm Try, I do sound like an, some sort of nostalgia freak, but to be honest, yeah. Although this is fairly simplistic. Yeah, seriously. All we need to do is toss these things into the thing. Seriously. Um, if you get it right, then it will make some sort of fire appear in that incinerator. So, yeah! And what happened there? Uh, have I got climb there? Oh, sorry about that. I do not want to toss my robot buddy into the incinerator. There we go. So that's one more. Yeah, this is fairly simple, really. Again, this is the still near the beginning of the game, so that's fine. Okay. So we get a gadget, which, for all intents and purposes, is the flipping um, sub cannon. Seriously, vacuum my ass. Seriously, vacuum my ass. It is the suck cannon, albeit less effective than last time. It will only suck up certain things. Anyway, what do we have here? Usage of the vacuum to actually get rid of enemies and open doors. Okay, well, we did see Susie use it earlier. So let's see if we can use it here then. And what do you know, falling platforms. A staple of any good platformer and bad platformer. So, yeah. Although these ones only come up, so maybe not. Okay, now we have to team up to hold our vacuums to open the door. So do that, and that should open the door. Okay, is that um, area three done? I think so. So can I get through keys? And what do we have here? Some, um... These creatures have been Pokemon released. rejects, I guess. Seriously. Okay. Creatures, apparently, they're called. No, no, no. They're, they're, that's a game from the 90s, man. That is from the 90s. 
Where do I have to put the creatures? I don't know, so let's see. Okay, I'm getting nothing here. Okay, I have to suck them up, that's all. Again, fairly simple. So now, oh, I just spat out a, a, a clank there. I don't mean to do that. So let's see. We suck that out. So I'm guessing it's more toss E bombs into the incinerator again. Ah, so be it. Where's the third one then? That's just a question. Is that? A, no, that's a gold bolt! Yeah, this game has gold bolts as well. Okay, you do it, Clank. Oh, you almost there, we're there, Clank. Almost. And there's our gold bolt. Although, in this case, it's called a hero bolt, but bloody hell, it's a frigging gold bolt. Seriously. Its colour is even golden. Yeah, it's a gold bolt. Seriously. And I cannot pick it up. Do we need to use the vacuum? Yes, I do, apparently. Yeah. Oh, well, so be it. Again, different ending to the classic Ratchet game. That uh, may well be inevitable. As bad as that sounds, as I say. I soon don't like this game that much. Compared to the likes of Tools of Destruction and uh, A Cracking Time. And I guess also Quest for Booty, but... Quest for Booty was only a short game, to be honest. Compared to the length of A Cracking Time, at least. So, let's see, get these here, very good, and then I am going to, um, see this. Okay, so now we have to, wait, send it kind of over to the other side. Again, it's something that was a thing in, um, in, excuse me for a moment, uh, was a thing in, um, of course, in previous Ratchet and Clank games, so I'm not too pissed about that. At least the, here it is resembling more of a platformer than just a Skylanders ripoff. Ugh. Skylanders. I do not want to play those games ever again. Okay, so where's Clank? Suck him up and send him over. And then. What? Why to double jump? Yeah, I was clear on that. Then hook shot over. Yes. I still can't get over the fact that they call part of the thing the hook shot. Seriously. If you're going to make a Zelda reference, fine. But um, if Nintendo had trademarked it, I think they would have sued. Okay, what do we have here? More to toss. Oh boy. Uh, maybe I will. Oh no, it's Blink. Match. Okay. Really. And then, boom. Ow! That actually worked. Yeah, that was a very weird thing there. Oh, never mind. One of these guys. Seriously, are these robots are they actually animals that live here. And is this game making a Metroid reference? Seriously, that reminds me of Mother Brain. Up with that and Gaia, but never mind that. Um, apparently, what do we have here? Some sort of gadget here. Wait, some people. Okay, apparently a vacuum can revive people. Fine, I guess. Yeah, I cannot not think of a frigging uh, thing um, with regards to the vacuum. For all intents and purposes, it is just some kind of just downgraded to a, a throwing mechanic or something. Ow. Okay, uh, Clank. Ratchet. Can you actually... Thank you. A little help here, guys. Apparently, vacuums are also quite... Um, Objective complete. Um, well done, okay, you. that's area 5 done, so... That is a complete Gold gadget certification, it seems. So now what? More critters. Again, fine, I guess. I don't know why we need critters, but... Hero Bolt! Yeah, well, yeah for all intents and purposes, it reminds me of the thing. So what do I get? I don't know. Um, I did not change Ratchet's skins. It'd be very nice if he actually got some of his skins from previous games. I wouldn't mind him wearing these. Okay, is this another case of avoid pink? Okay, no, it's not. 
It's not like the taxi se segment from uh, Luminopolis. Anyway, we've met back up with Susie here, so that's good. So let's see how we work since she opens up. Defeat the minions. Unless. Thankfully, they're not the little yellow uh, tic tacs from uh, Despicable Me, but actually the. Um, what things? The vacuum works okay, I guess, but. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to use some of my own weapons. Unless the back, unless they're immune. Seriously, these weapons have had a downgrade here. Yeah. Okay, now I need the back use. So, okay. And I got an achievement there, the uh, Mad Plasma Bomber. Okay, the thing is... Uh, okay, slam him down there, Clank. Uh, the uh, vacuum is your sound of weapon then. Which is weird, I thought it was a gadget. But it kind of is a gadget, so... Soak up the critters and let's see where this goes. Again, one more critter there, but... I'm guessing I'm not getting anything for that. That door to the right is open. I wonder what the leftmost door does then. What does that do? Seriously. I really want to know now, being the rather inquisitive, I can't really say inquisitive, but certainly curious, but never mind. I'm going to go in here, and what do we have here? The blade minion. Yeah, when I think of that, I think of one of the minions from Despicable Me again. And slam down, I mean, Clank. Yeah, seriously. I think of a, a minion from Despicable Me carrying a samurai sword or something like that, which kind of doesn't go with the whole idea. Oh, never mind. Okay, smash him there with the Omni Wrench. Seriously, the Omni Wrench is thingy. Okay, fling him on there, and down you go. Yeah. Okay, at least there's a bit more strategy here than the. Um, the charge up thing that we saw earlier in Looming Office, which is bored me to death. Ah, crap. Okay, get in with you. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Omni Wrench, and yeah. Any more enemies here? Nope. Then that's just the. Is that the amount of stars you. Okay, counted down to one. Does that mean. Mo yeah, more enemies here, and this is a charge up enemy in it. Definitely. Okay, what's this vacuum force? Okay, you get to the other one there, Clank. Okay, it must do something. It crushes them! Okay, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know that's been done to death in everything, but to be honest, why did you give me a no there? A scan of minion. We ran into that thing earlier. So let's see, so... Uh, okay, I guess we finished it. Fair enough. I, I'm not going to complain. It's shorter than the last episode when we dealt with the Zagroot. So yeah, uh, Christmas Collective. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And we just continue from there, don't we? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Escape the training center. Whatever we did, I think we pissed them off. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye!